Spring has sprung at Bedrock Motors. Welcome to our Blaine location right on Highway 65, just north of 610. We're going to visit our other two locations in just a minute, but I'm so excited today. It's beautiful outside, the sun is shining, the grass is turning green, and that means that we've got sports cars to show you. And one thing I want to highlight is we have over 300 cars in stock at our locations, and so obviously there's no way for us to get through every single car in our inventory in just a short show. So we're going to highlight my favorites today at the Blaine location, and then we'll see the other two stores. But remember, our inventory changes daily. So if you see something you like, give us a call at the numbers on the screens or check out our website. We've got prices, details, more photos, but we're going to quickly highlight a couple in the row right out front. And so this first one, if you look back in our YouTube archives, we've spent a little more time on this car, really dissecting it and going through. But I just want to highlight this again because it's so rare. This is a 2013 Dodge Charger, and it's an SRT8 with a Super B package. So very limited production run. This car only has 23,000 miles on it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Special wheels, special brakes, different interior upholstery on the seats. This is an absolutely incredibly fast car, fun to drive, and it looks awesome. So make sure you check us out, bedrockmotors.com, for more photos of this one. Up next, we're going to look at a 2010 Chevy Camaro. And what we look for is not the most expensive sports car out there, but we want to find something that looks really nice that's affordable. And one thing you'll find when you check out our prices is that really these cars are within reach for the average person. And this particular car only has 30,000 miles on it, but it's got the a great look. It has the 20 inch wheels on it. It's got a spoiler in the back. This particular one has automatic transmission, and this one is the V6, and it's the RS appearance package. So we have some Camaros in stock with the V8 in it, but you know maybe you just want a fun you know to drive car, maybe not necessarily going to race it. This is great. Check it out; it rides awesome. Back to the uh, Dodge and Chrysler family. Here's another. Uh, this one's a Challenger. So the first one we looked at is a Charger. This Challenger is an RT Classic. It has 20-inch chrome wheels on it. Um, this particular one is a 2012 and it only has 18,000 miles on it. And with the Hemi V8, it has a manual transmission. So if you want fast, throw you back in the seat, come and check out this car. It's unbelievable. And you can see we try to find, you know, again, the ones with the spoiler in the back and the, the red racing stripes on it. This is an absolutely incredibly fun to drive, really cool car. And then back to the Chargers again. This one is a 2010, and one thing that you'll notice when we look at the first, that Super B that we had before, this is the last year of the old body style. So in 11, they changed the grill, the headlight, the interior. Uh, but this one is another very rare, hard to find car. This is an SRT8, which means it has the huge V8, tons and tons of power. This is really a cool car. And, and there's some differences. You've got the little hood scoop on it. This one has a big wing in the back and the sunroof. 20-inch uh, special wheels just designed for the SRT8. If we look inside, it's got leather seats, great sound system, pretty much all the features that you can imagine in a really fun to drive, really, really cool car. So make sure you give us a call. We'd love to see you out here to test drive these cars. Uh, you'd be surprised at the pricing, so make sure you check out our latest pricing. We update them all the time. We make sure we shop our cars with the market so they're affordable. And uh, give us a call. We'd love to see you. Hi there, I'm Juan Billy Petit with Bedrock Motors and Rogers. I wanted to kind of get uh, the Ford versus Chevy vibe going on right away and those looking for the full size SUVs. I've got two of them here. This uh, first one I want to show you is a 2012 Ford Expedition. It's the EL, so it's the extended length. So you're going to have the same uh, extra space beyond that third row seat. And we'll do a walk around and kind of go through and kind of show you some of the features of this one. And then the other one that we'll uh, touch on is a 2011 Chevy Suburban. So these two go head to head when you're looking for the full size domestic SUV. SUVs. But uh, this one I believe has got 74,000 miles. It's black. It's the Lariat trim level. So it's going to have the power moonroof. You get the navigation. Um, you got uh, all the leather. It's got the quad seatings, rear entertainment. 
And if you look down, I just opened that door, Danny. Uh, sorry, it's a little dirty on there, but those are power running boards. So they'll open and close as you get up and in the vehicle. But um, it's got the uh, power seat with lumbar support. One nice thing that uh, this differs from the Chevy is that these ones actually have a heated and cooled seat. So there's air conditioning on there, which on the Suburban, those do not, I believe, until the newer model years, or you have to upgrade to like a, um, a GMC Yukon Denali. Um, and the rear here, We've got the quad seating, and then um, if you kind of take a look at the back of those headrests, this is one nice thing that I really like, and I know when I've taken one of these homes and my kids just love it, you can you got the two monitors in both the headrests. So uh, one can be watching a movie, the other one can watch a movie, or they can both watch the same movie. So less fights, less arguing, and you can just please both your kids or multiple kids. Um, in the back here, I believe we're gonna try, okay, it is, it is a power lift gate. So this one, um, and this is one of the things that Ford does too on here, which again, Chevy does not, but um, you got power up and down rear seats. So you can fold those. Um, where the advantage I think Chevy may have is that uh, it does not have the power rows where you fold them down, but you can actually remove the seats. And I'll kind of show you that a little bit too. But um, you got the cargo area as well, where you can pop that open and get a little bit more storage and that's for the towing. But uh, great vehicle. And then here, follow me, Danny. We'll go over to the Chevy and kind of highlight that one. Now this one we kind of dressed up a little bit. It's, um, and I can't tell if you can tell the exact color of this, but this is kind of like a, a gray purplish graphite color. But we had a nice accent with the black rims on here too. And those are 22 inch GM uh, takeoffs. So they're very similar to what the factory are. But I think it gives it a nice contrast and a nice look. Also in here, we've got WeatherTech floor mats. So if you had ever had any of those, you're always gonna want those. Those will keep the interior condition and the floor. It doesn't matter if it's in our uh, kind of climate where we get the, all the rain, sleet, snow, mud, whatever. Easy to clean out, you put them out and rinse them off. But this one's got the full WeatherTech package. So even in the back, where you got on the center row and all the way back into the third row. But um, this one's just well equipped, top of the line for the, um, for the Chevrolet, you got the nav, you got the rear DVDs, and then I'm gonna open up the back where I've actually never seen this on the Chevy version, but it's got two monitors. I've seen it in the Cadillac version and the Denali, but if you can kind of look up in the ceiling, I don't have that other one down, but you can see the monitor. That's down, that's for the center row. That's traditional where they are, but then right in front of the third row, there's another monitor that flips down. So whether you're nearsighted, farsighted, you'll be able to see the movie on there. But uh, I'm gonna open up this. In this one too, again, you got all the options, which another different thing about this vehicle is that um, most of the time to get these options, you need to go to an LTZ, but this is just the LT package. So I believe it's the LT3 where you get that, but um, great vehicle. Whether you choose Ford or Chevy, you know, I'll let you, uh, you decide. I know I've got my personal preference, but for more information on these, go to bedrockmotors.com. Next one over, we mentioned before that they make the Mustang in a convertible. So here's a great example of a convertible. And this particular car is not a V8, this one is a V6. And uh, this one has 70,000 miles on a 2011. So just a little, you know, slight differences in the wheels, slight differences in the grill. And then again, this one has the uh, tan convertible top. This one also has leather interior. So again, if you're looking for a wide variety of vehicles, this is just a few examples. So make sure you check out our website, bedrockmotors.com. Give us a call on the screen. Our inventory changes almost daily. So it's important that you check back with us. We'll also a lot of times buy cars for a customer. So if you know specifically a certain model, certain make, certain color, certain price range that you're trying to hit, let us go and find it for you. We have networks all over the place. We can buy the car for you, bring it in, and it's, uh, and it's all for you. But give us a call. We'd love to see you here at Bedrock Motors. Hi, Wombly Petit with Bedrock Motors and Rogers. Uh, the next vehicle I want to show you is a 2014 Jeep Cherokee. Now this is a redesigned. When I first thought of Cherokees, obviously you think of the Grand, but this is a little different uh, vehicle and model itself. But um, I used to think of the boxy ones. So they redesigned it a couple years ago and they made it more aerodynamic. They added the headlights, which gives it a pretty, you know, kind of out there type look, but uh, very good cosmetics cosmetically. Um, on here, the headlights are actually here and those are the turn signal lights. This one's the Trailhawk trim level. So you get a couple little extras. You get the fender flares on there. You get the bigger alloy wheels, the bigger tires. Um, if you want to look at those uh, red uh, 
tow hooks on the front, you know, kind of nice little accents that you get. And then it's kind of a cloudy day here, but you also get the uh, graphics on the hood too. So it's, I don't know if you can really tell that or not. But um, this one uh, is the Trailhawk, so you do get the navigation. It's got the leather, um, black leather interior. You get the red accents on the trim, you know, which kind of just, again, it adds to it. Um, kind of makes it that much more than a traditional uh, Trailhawk. Um, but this one has the two passenger or the two seats in the front and then the three passengers in the rear, um, fully leather. Um, and for being such a small um, SUV, which that's what uh, the world's kind of trending to right now, they do make and utilize all the space that's available. So this, they can fold down and you can, you got a rather large area to, um, to put whatever cargo you have or groceries or anything. Plus you also have some little tie down spots like that'll swing open, then you can put things there so they don't fall all around. Um, and then one nice thing with the Jeeps too is that most of the time when you have the smaller cars, you get those small spare tires, but not with Jeep. You know, they don't know where, if you have a flat tire in the mountains and the prairies on the highway, but they give you the full size spare. So you can drive on that for however many miles you want. Not like those where you can only go 50 miles an hour and only 50 miles away or something, and then you're, they become useless. But this one, again, it's a Jeep, so you do get the towing package with it, and that'll take a, the typical receiver ball. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the towing rating is, but if I had to guess, it's probably right in that 3,500 to 4,000 pounds, but don't quote me on that. Um, again, here's the different look on those, and those um, seats do split 60-40, so if you needed more room and you had one passenger or two in the back, or you can just leave them all up in three. And then I'll open up um, the passenger side, and if you want to zoom in here, Danny, I'm going to move around to the other side and show you some things. And again, this goes back to where um, Jeep's actually doing a great job of utilizing the space, and I've never actually seen this. But you get the cargo area in the front passenger seat as well. So kind of, you know, you can kind of put your nooks, crannies, you got a couple different folding options for where you can put stuff. And then um, this also has the navigation, so you get the bigger screen, but then you can also got all your docks, your power points. You got a regular outlet right there, a cigarette outlet, you got the USB, your auxiliary power, and also in here, so you can put all your um, electronics and kind of keep them hidden away, then it'll all pop up on here. And then we also have got some more options for a sunglass case, or if you have a little stash or your wallet or whatever, but um, the four wheel drive, is a, the switch is right here, and you, it's got an automatic, so you don't even have to worry about it, just drive it. The truck will know if you need it or not, but if you definitely know if there's gonna be snow, put it in the snow mode. If you have a sport, you got sand or mud, again, it's a Jeep, so they, you, they're prepared for all seasons and all conditions. But uh, great vehicle, we do have financing on all of these. We have warranties available, so for any more information, go to bedrockmotors.com. When you come to Bedrock Motors for your service, we have many options. Just get it tuned up or get it tricked out. Tune it up. Our technicians specialize in all mechanical issues on every make and model, including foreign and domestic. Trick it out. Do you want a sick custom ride? From lowering kits to custom lift kits, we do it all. Come to Bedrock Motors and Rogers or Blaine for all your service needs. Don't forget, Bedrock Motors pays top dollar for your vehicle, even if you don't buy from us. We're here at our Bedrock Motors Blaine location, and I want to highlight a few things that we do differently at Bedrock than other independent used car dealers. We are one of the largest in the state and we do that because we take such good care of our customers and we have such a cool product to sell. There are some dealers that buy a used car at the auction, they park it out there and they don't do anything to it, they just sell it. And what we do that's unique is we bring our vehicles in and we spend on average of $1,500 per vehicle on reconditioning. So we check the brakes, we check the tires, we make sure there's no check engine lights or other weird lights on your dash. And the most common thing that we hear, we're right on Highway 65 in Blaine, and we get people that stop all the time, wow, I can't believe the cars that I see outside right on the main road. And the, the reason they stop is because they see really cool shiny cars like this and they want to know what it is. And so we spend on average four hours per vehicle just in detailing. We shampoo the carpets, we clean the leather, we clean the headliners, we clean the engine compartment, we buff the exterior of every single vehicle that's in stock so that it looks like a brand new car because it is your new car even if it's not brand new. And so here's a great example of one of the shiniest red cars that I have seen here in a long time. The, the previous owner of this car took such good care of it. It's so clean and it really shows. So without looking at it, you wouldn't say, okay, really it has 97,000 miles on it. It looks like it's right off of the showroom. And that's what we try and find for you at Bedrock Motors. This is a 2010 Charger. And a couple of things that we did to this vehicle 
in addition to our normal recon is, is check out these wheels and tires. Um, you know, the car came in, the, the tires needed to be replaced, the wheels were kind of chopped up and pitted and a little rusty and stuff like that. So we said, all right, well, let's just start over. The rest of the car is perfect. So we bought brand new 22 inch replica SRT8 wheels and brand new tires. And it completely changes the look of the car and it really is brand new. And then if we move on, here's another great example of what we find at Bedrock Motors. We try to find unique limited edition cars and this is one of them. Uh, this is a Nissan 370Z. It's the Touring Edition. It's a 2012 and catch this, it only has 17,000 miles on it. And a lot of times when we see cars like this that are, um, I don't know what you want to call them, specialty vehicles, sometimes we see them when they're really rough. People beat on them, they race them, they get dings and dents and they, you know the wheels are all curb rashed. That's not this car. This car was so well cared for. It's hard to see on here, but it's got a clear hood shield on it, which protects this white diamond paint, which is also kind of a limited edition. And it's hard to see maybe from the photos, but the suspension has actually been altered on this, and this car is actually lowered to the ground. And then, you know, check out these huge wheels on it. This is a very unique, very high to, hard to find car, and we have it at Bedrock Motors. So that's what we're looking for is it, unique, hard to find vehicles. And then here's another great example. This one just came off of the transport yesterday, and it hasn't completely been through our shop and detailed yet, but look how clean it is already, right out of the transport. So this car is a Challenger. We've shown you some other Challengers before. This is a very rare SRT8 Challenger with a manual transmission. So you can see the badging on the side. The SRT8 comes with the 392 Hemi. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, kind of a black magnesium alloy wheel. Very, very sharp looking car. It has the gray hood stripe package. And not only that, it has navigation and sunroof. So I, I know we don't have uh, as much time as we'd like to go through these vehicles, you know, every little thing, but make sure you check out our website because in the next couple weeks, we're gonna put about 30 photos of this one online and then we'll have some more details about what options are included and pricing and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you give us a call at bedrockmotors.com or just stop by, we'd love to see you. Hi, Wombly Petit with Bedrock Motors of Rogers. Now I'm gonna declare it, I'm gonna declare Rogers as the unofficial official Corvette headquarters out of the Bedrock Automotive Group. Um, I've got three of them listed. I believe these are both uh, 2005s. This one, or actually, excuse me, you know what? I've, uh, we did forget to add one today. I believe it's inside getting our safety inspection on it, but we've got a black 05 Corvette. Um, I believe that one, that one's a convertible as well as a silver one. So two different ones to choose, choose from for that generation. Plus we've got a 2013 Corvette too. This is the regular hard top one. One thing I like about this particular one is um, the previous owner he added the black wheels, gave it the black look. It's a triple black look. Plus on the decals, we've got carbon fiber here, um, racing stripe down in the middle of the point, as well as that goes all the way to the roof line. And then we've also got the two racing stripes on the side. And I can't, um, I'll have you come in and take a look at this and I can't tell if you can see it, but um, the way the sun hits that carbon fiber, that first one, you can actually see the Corvette flags on there too. But um, both of these are got leather on there. They're nice, but here's the one I really want to highlight while we're looking at these Corvettes. This is is kind of our pride and joy at the moment. This one's a 2012 um, Corvette. This one's the Grand Sport. So you got the upgraded suspension, upgraded brakes. You've got the um, the slotted or the drilled hold in rotors, and then you got the red calipers, which actually makes it um, add nice. But very good performance. You get a couple extra vents in the grill to help the cooling and the induction on the bottom. You get the lower racing balance. You get the fog lights, which you can you can kind of see the differences if you zoom into both of these here. Um, also, you get the brake vents. With You get the slots on the back here, so it just adds that sports look, and also it, it does serve a purpose by having uh, these cool down. So you get the air that goes in and cools those, so you get all the performance you need. But uh, this one only has 7,000 miles on it, so it wasn't, uh, it was more of somebody's baby, in my opinion, than it was. It was something where he would just park in and probably wax and wash, but uh, it's got the, all the right equipment. You get the navigation, you got the power, all the power um, stuff in there. Um, but it's the torch red color too. So, and I believe these one, this one has uh, approximately 430 horsepower on it. So you're gonna have all the power you need, plus you got all the performance you need with the Grand Sport package. And if you look on the rear fender here, you can kind of see the lip of this flap, 
On the Grand Sports, they got wider tires and a wider steel body. So it uh, kind of sits a little offset and we can kind of compare it to the other Corvettes here. But it just helps with handling as well. Um, then you get the bigger tires too. But for more information on any of these, go to bedrockmotors.com or you can apply online for our financing. But uh, come to Rogers at the Corvette headquarters. Hey, welcome guys. This is Bedrock Motors Auto Show. We're here up in uh, Monticello. Just going to show you some of our trucks we got here. So we don't only just sell cars, we got a lot of heavy duty diesels. This one here is a 2013 Power Stroke 67 diesel, 44,000 miles, came out of Iowa. Super, super clean truck. Nice big wheels and tires, painted wheel flares, painted bumpers. This truck is sharp and it's ready to go. The next one you got right here, Danny, this is a 2012. Chevrolet Duramax Diesel LTZ. It's got the 20 inch wheels. Tires are just about brand new. Soft tonneau cover, Duramax Diesel. This can do whatever, both these trucks, if you look at them both, they're diesels, they can pull. You can load them up, you can plow with them, whatever you need to do. We got the heavy duty trucks up here in Monticello, so we don't just sell cars and SUVs, we also got the heavy duty trucks. Got a couple more here to show you. This is a 2011 F-150 Platinum. 5 liter, a nice big, you know, V8. We got power windows, power locks, leather, heated cooled seats, navigation, sunroof, power running boards, 20 inch wheels. I mean, this truck, it's got it all. It's got the shorter box on it, so it's nice and easy to maneuver. The nice polished wheels, plenty of rubber on the tires, backup camera. This is the Cadillac of pickup trucks. The next one I'm gonna show you here. It's a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo X-Type. What you get with the X-Type? The 20 inch wheels, leather interior, navigation, Hemi V8. So it's basically the limited or overland, but you save a lot of money by getting the Laredo X package. It's got all the look, nice ride. It's got that auto adjustable ride so you can adjust for any type of weather or conditions that you've got. Tow package, the big skylight sunroof, it's got it all. All right, one minute. At Bedrock Motors, not only are we excellent at finding cool cars to drive and getting them ready for you with our reconditioning process, but one of the things we're extremely good at is financing. We have over 30 lenders, local and national, that we work with and we offer a guaranteed credit approval program. So not only can we help you get a great deal on your car, but we can also help you get a great deal on financing. And what that means is maybe you've got perfect credit, we'll use our, our, our buying power with our banks to help shop and get a great rate. Or at the other end of the spectrum, we can help you rebuild your credit, or just if you're getting started out, we can help you with first time buyer programs and everything in the middle. So make sure you can go right to our website and apply online at bedrockmotors.com or give us a call or stop in. So the next couple of cars I wanna highlight are Corvettes. And this is right in the middle of Corvette season. Really our window is between now and the 4th of July when we sell these cars. And this particular car is so unique and so limited, you absolutely have to come and see this car to believe it. This is a Corvette Grand Sport, which is a, a special limited package. This had every option that was available from the factory. So the bright chrome wheels, heads up display, leather interior, that sort of thing. And, and here's what blew me away when I, when I got the chance to look at this car. Not only is it Inferno Orange, which is a limited edition color, but this car, if you look at it online, is a 2011 with less than 3,000 miles. So if you can believe somebody basically bought this car, put it in storage, they don't drive it, this is a collector car and this is a dream. You can't find cars like this everywhere, but we go out and find them, we buy them and provide them to you at Bedrock Motors. So in continuing with our Corvette theme, here's another one. Also very limited edition. This was a Grand Sport. Next to it we have a Z06. And this one's a 2004 with only 25,000 miles. The features and options on the inside are the same. We still have uh, leather seats, heads up display, Bose sound system, that kind of stuff. But the Z06 has more horsepower and a little different set of wheels. If we go back to the regular coupe, this one has a removable roof. The Z06 is more of a race-inspired car and a little different suspension, no removable roof. And at our other locations, we've also got convertibles. We've got a whole range of miles, prices, years available. Make sure you check it out or give us a call at the numbers on the screen.
All right, guys, now I'm going to show you a couple of our cars. Now, remember to go to the website, bedrockmotors.com. All three locations are listed on there. All the cars I've been talking about today, they're all at our Monticello stores. So just click on the location, look at all of our inventory. This one here is a super nice 2015 Chevrolet Impala LTZ, 33,000 miles. It's got everything except for the nav and the sunroof, but it's heated seats. I mean, it, this car just drives amazing. You think of an Impala, kind of the your grandpa's car, not anymore. This is a luxury car. You gotta come check this one out. The next one we got over here, this is a little 2014 Dodge Dart. I did a little research. It's one of the lowest mileage ones out there. It's got 10,000 miles, super clean, nice little car, sporty look. You know, you can get into this thing for, you know, a relatively really cheap payment. You gotta come check this one out. It's got the sunroof, it's got the big display radio, it's got the sporty seats. If you wanna come take a peek inside here, kinda see what I'm talking about. It's a sharp little car, WeatherTech floor mats. So the thing I always say about the WeatherTechs, whoever owned the car wanted to take care of it because they put those floor mats in there for a reason. But really sharp, little SXT, it's got the 2.4, or sorry, it's the Rally, the Dart Rally. But yeah, come check it out. Once again, don't forget to check the website. We got guarantee auto financing. You can do an online credit app right on the website. It comes right into us and we go to work on it for you. At our Bedrock Motors Blaine location, it seems like this week is SRT8 week and this pickup is no exception. One of the things that the Chrysler and Dodge do is they make high performance vehicles that are a little bit less uh, production, limited production, limited edition trucks. And this one is no exception. This one just came off of our transport minutes ago, so I don't even really know uh, details with pricing and year and all that kind of stuff, but I still want to highlight it because it is so unique. In the next couple minutes, we'll get it online, get more photos, get the details, pricing, that kind of stuff. But this car is so unique. It's a it's an SRT10, so it's a souped-up version of the Dodge. And if you look at it, they also do some really cool cosmetic stuff. So all of this uh, lower body cladding, and even on the side of the vehicle, there's lower cladding, special wheels and tires. This is a very unique vehicle. There's not many of them around. I can count in the last four or five years, we've maybe had one or two of these trucks in stock at Bedrock. So very limited, but really a cool truck, easy to drive, and very affordable. And we don't price these things out of the market. We still make it, uh, you know, price for the average person to, to buy it. But make sure you come to Bedrock Motors and check out this car. We have so many more unique cars and trucks, SUVs, minivans. We didn't have time to get them at them all today, but make sure you check out our website. As I mentioned before, our inventory changes daily. And we're constantly shopping our vehicles with the competition to make sure that we're priced right in the market and affordable to you, our customer. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, give us a call. All of these videos are archived on YouTube, so go to Bedrock Motors MN. You can see all of these videos later. We also have a Facebook page, our website, like we mentioned, or give us a call or stop in. We'd love to see you. Thanks for watching.